Hey everybody, welcome back to Design Weekly. This is Puneet and today we're gonna create a cute little Animoji, animated Animoji for the Christmas theme of course. This is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, and on click, uh, it should start animating itself. <laughs> now that's a cute little fellow right there. I'll teach you how to create this nose, this face, this, these ears and these eyes all using one basic shape and that is circles now circles are my favorite shapes you know circles are the best basically so what we'll do is we will create quickly uh you know bring uh, make a new artboard and um okay this is the wrong artboard let me make a new artboard which is the iphone 10 artboard right and we will uh, make a big circle for the face and I've already saved the colors so here's the color for the face of the reindeer and um, of course if you double click on a shape you can see its anchor points and in Adobe XD you can freely move these anchor points to wherever you want <coughs> excuse me uh, here we will place it slightly like this that is the reindeer's face we'll uh, just copy this over and we'll use a darker brown and create the back of the face so this gives it kind of a, a 3d uh, outlined look to the face which is interesting and now is the time for the eyes we'll create another circle and uh, by the way this all seems uh, fairly easy and I've made it even easier. I've given an Adobe XD linked file down in the description. So if you click on the link, you'll be able to download the XD file. That's that's pretty cool. And you can use it in your own projects. Uh, so here, what we'll do is, uh, if we double click an anchor point like this, it uh, basically flattens this edge. So there, there's now an edge here. So if we stretch this out, you can see this is kind of like an eye shape that we had in the Rudolph uh, face. I'll just copy this over and rotate it while holding shift. This will rotate it evenly. And that is perfect. Yep, two little cute eyes. Now, right now they look like a fox's eyes, but you know, with the nose it will change. And in the middle, we will be creating the iconic nose that Rudolph already has. Uh, there you go and um, I will remove the border and I've already given it a gradient which is a radial gradient to give it like this uh, whole um, red nose look let me just darken this a little bit and uh, let me just place it slightly off yep so now it gives like a uh, like a highlighted uh, red nose effect and it's all it also seems tilted right now we'll give it a slight glow by giving it a border shadow so we we'll give it the same red and we will make sure it's a slightly less opaque and uh, how about a 12 um, yep now it seems as it's as if it's glowing right that is what we want that is the aim Control D or Command D and just duplicate these. So now what we'll be doing is we will be uh, moving these ears, uh, you know, tilting them more so it seems like the, the ear is fluttering with excitement. Uh, that is what we want. And uh, we'll shift this a little here. Maybe shift the eyes a little bit here too so that it looks like uh, the eyes are moving along with the nose that is what we want and one more time we will be moving this 
oops, let me just group this up. Yep. And uh, we'll be moving it slightly towards the center, you know, back and forth. And we'll be moving the nose slightly here. So this eyeball will be slightly towards the lower portion here, and this will be towards the right a little bit more. Yep. So now it seems as if the eyes are also shifting a little bit. And uh, okay, this eye looks a little wonky. I'll just fix this up a little bit more. Perfect. Now what we'll be doing is one last slide. We will be, uh, the last three slides, we just duplicate this. Wait a second. What we'll be doing is we will be removing these. So um, command colon or control colon on Windows, you can just hide this, right? And same with the eyeballs. And we will be creating these little eyes, so to say. And uh, what we'll be doing is deleting, uh, when we select something and click on delete, the anchor point gets deleted, as simple as that. And that is one closed eye. And same here, just copy this over, remove the borders, looks clean now, right? And uh, we will uh, s duplicate this. So one, two, three. Three times we will be duplicating this. Or, yeah, thrice. So three duplicates should be there. Now we will be fluttering these ears a little more. You know, there, there should be action. Uh, the nose will move around a little too. Let me just put the nose on top. And like, just like that, it'll be moving around and the reindeer will be fluttering its ears. Perfect. We will be creating a highlight for these by just using a box shadow and giving a zero blur. So it looks like a solid shape at the bottom. Same here. Zero and five. That's what we did here. So it seems as if he's closed his eyes. Let's just do this for all these. Box shadow, zero and five. Perfect. Now what we'll do is link all of these in prototype mode. Just click on this and say tap, auto animate, uh, ease out 0 0.3 seconds. We're going for that, that's fine. And here, rather than tap, we will say time and give it a slight 0 0.1 second delay. And we'll do the same for all of these. Same, just keep doing it. Adobe XD saves everything. Uh, now, um, with this last one, we will bring it back to the third last slide or uh, artboard, so as to say, and it'll keep on repeating this way. So let's play it and try it out. <laughs> now that's a cute little reindeer. What we did was a little more extensive. Um, I did, you know, like a lot of artboards and a lot of slides here and a lot of animation here. So that is why my reindeer is slightly, um, let's just say slightly more animated and accurate. But of course, uh, for that you'll have to edit around my XD file, which I will be linking down in the description. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you got to learn a little more about Adobe XD and how to create cool stuff in Adobe XD. Merry Christmas to everybody. Have an amazing holiday season and uh, keep on making beautiful designs. Keep on subscribing. Subscribing goes a long way for me and also like this video if you liked it, share, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.